Hi, in this video we will learn how to find the demand function when the utility function is minimum x plus y comma 2y. The utility function here can be written in this form that it takes value x plus y if x is less than y and it takes value 2y if x is greater than y. So we have already learned how to plot the IC of utility functions like these. So let's quickly check how the IC is going to look. So an indifference curve for any level of satisfaction will have this shape. It is going to have a slope 1 in the region x less than y. Okay. And it will have a slope 0 in the region when x is greater than y. Now the consumer's problem is to maximize utility subject to the budget constraint. Given the way the IC looks, we can solve this problem by dividing it into three different cases. Case 1 is when px by py is less than 1. Case 2 is when px by py is equal to 1. And case 3 is when px by py is greater than 1. The reason for doing so is because the slope of the indifference curve in this region is 1. So let's, let's inspect in those three different cases. Okay, so here are the three cases. Case 1, px by py greater than 1 and the budget line is going to be steep. If px by py is equal to 1, then the budget line will have slope 1. And if px by py is less than 1, then the budget line will be flatter. So let us find the highest possible IC that passes through the budget line in this case. Clearly, when we are going to do this exercise for a few ICs, in a similar way that we have discussed, we will find that the highest possible IC is going to pass through this point where individual consumes only Y. Okay, so the solution to the consumer's problem in this case will be x d equals 0 and y d equals m by p y. If we will solve the problem in case 2, then we are going to get that the highest possible IC will coincide with the budget line on this portion. and will lie above the budget line in this region. So that means that there are multiple solutions to the consumer's problem and any x d y d such that x d y d lies on the budget line and it lies in the region above the 45 degree line will be the solution. Okay, so this is how you're going to write it. In the case when px by py is less than 1, then the solution will be this point that lies on the 45 degree line as well as on the budget line. So the solution can be obtained by solving two equations for two unknowns. And those equations are one is a budget equation and the other is a 45 degree line equation. So let's write those two equations. So the solution satisfies yd equal to xd and it also satisfies px xd plus pyyd equal to m. Solving them we are going to get xd equals m by px plus py and yd equals m by px plus py. So we have learned how to find the demand function for x and y when the utility function is minimum x plus y comma 2y and we just used graphs to figure out the demand. So graphical approach is actually a very powerful approach to find the demand function. Thank you.